Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. So I want to thank Sherry in Wyoming. And this is a picture of a tornado that she sent in that she took with her own phone. And uh, this is in Laramie, Wyoming. And what a spectacular picture this is. Look at that. As I've shared with you guys before, I've, I've had up close and personal experience with a tornado once, and uh, I'd like to keep it that way. Once was more than enough. It, incredibly scary things they are, and so destructive. So we could see from this picture that was uh, a really impressive looking storm. Here's another photo from a farther distance away. And another one showing extremely ominous clouds and you can see the tornado in the distance and again this is Laramie Wyoming super super impressive photos that one deserves framing for sure that's that's an amazing photo there so we have an earthquake swarm detected under dormant Perinacota volcano in Chile and Bolivia so we saw yesterday's video that New Zealand potentially has one waking up and now we have more potentially waking up and this is in Chile and Bolivia a seismic swarm has been detected under the Perincota strato volcano along the Chile Bolivia border on June 6th there are no known historical eruptions of this volcano However, helium surface exposure dates have been obtained for eruptions during the past 2,000 years. And the, storms, uh, the swarm started at 2103 UTC and consisted of 90 VT, volcano tectonic earthquakes, in 85 minutes. The largest was a 2.3, located 6 kilometers southwest of the crater at a depth of 10.6 kilometers. So the alert level remains at green. It is the southernmost and youngest of a pair of volcanoes forming the Nevados de Payachara group along the Chile-Bolivia border. And here we can see the area that it is. As we scroll out, definitely, definitely a lot going on and a lot waking up. As, we, as we've seen and we're just going to have more of these things increase and so I was watching this morning Adapt 2030 David Dubine who does such a beautiful job of explaining things and um, really he was accentuating how everything we see right now is really nothing compared to what's coming in just a couple years down the road because the magnetosphere is going to keep declining and, and declining more rapidly. And this is really, this is barely the beginning of what we're seeing. It's barely the beginning. And the uptick is going to be tremendous. And he's been saying this for a while. The next six months, hold on to your hats. But more that 2019 to 2021 frame the intensity uh, it could be more than double what we're experiencing right now and we have an unusual killer frost hitting the maritimes as temperatures plunge to negative four degrees centigrade in Canada and all this is damaging the crops and this is the big issue that's going to be hitting us and we as I've shared with you guys you, you can see we've looked at the price of wheat futures in other videos and I've shared with you what what I have been seeing at the store and if you guys want to share with me what you're seeing at the store what you're experiencing maybe you go to local farmers markets and that's I would always prefer to go to one of those um, you know keep me informed of what you're seeing as well you, you guys are doing a great job sending me in uh, amazing info and insight you know share your photos share share everything that's happening with with your areas as well and so this isn't a big issue and it's a killer it's a very unusual killer frost 
and we're going to be seeing the effects of this, you know, come the fall when it's harvest time, and there's not going to be as much to harvest, and it's it's an it's an issue that's going to keep increasing. So we have a rare June snow accompanied by frigid wind chills, hitting Newfoundland, Canada, and uh, they have a frost advisory in effect again for today, and. Everything from Nova Scotian wine grapes to island asparagus was harmed as they began to assess the damage from June cold front that hit Monday, June 4th. Very cold temperatures down to 2 degrees below centigrade and in some places to 4 degrees below centigrade. Killer frost temperatures for sure. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, it, it's definitely impacting the wine which, you know, we know how important that is. But seriously, uh, everything is being impacted. And including the strawberries, the blueberries, you know, everything. And so we're going to, at first experience, increases in price with a, occasional shortage, and then we'll see shortages at a more massive scale. And the Ozarks, shaken by a massive boom. Meteor explosion suspected. And uh, the Ozarks, as we know, that's one of our quote-unquote safe zones that we've talked about. And now we've seen, you know, issues in all the safe zones. And it's interesting that that has been the case. We talked about the uh, Appalachians being one of the safe zones. And we've seen massive, massive flooding there. And uh, we've, we've also talked about New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, Utah, the Four Corners area. And we have seen a lot of issues there. We see uh, forest fires there right now on a large scale. We see drought there. We see the trees dying from a combination of drought and also perhaps UV exposure. Um, interesting interesting things we're experiencing and, and here we have the Ozark shaken by a massive massive boom and so this was heard and felt in the Ozark shortly after noon local time on June 6 and <clears throat> they believe it was a meteor and uh, you know more than likely we, we've had quite a few of these we, we've covered them the last couple of days <clears throat> there's been meteors in many areas and there's been a lot of asteroids sneaking up to us in this area that we are now in and here we have more strange sounds no planes around mysterious sounds from the sky over Sanford Florida and a good buddy of mine is over in that area from high school and um, this clip captures in Sanford uh, Florida clearly strange sounds from apparently the sky again not a plane in sight that sounds like a plane to me that doesn't sound like the other ones kind of dubious on to let you guys see what you think about that one as well because we've seen so many others that sound very very different but very very similar more metallic so that that definitely sounds like the rumbling of something going by whether it's train or plane but I'll let you guys kick in what you think on that one as we saw in Hawaii Hawaiian neighborhoods completely destroyed as the lava rolls into the sea and, and truly, there are more and more signs all the time, to me anyway, that Mauna Loa is going to uh, be waking up as well. Uh, vacation land neighborhood, tremendously impacted. 
Many of the 279 homes in vacation land and neighbor, neighboring Kapo, Kapo are believed to have been destroyed by rolling lava as we've seen it increase and just flow and make its way to the ocean. Roughly 400 homes now have been destroyed. So that's increased uh, rapidly. And Wednesday we had another 5.6 uh, eruptive explosion that sent ash plume 10,000 feet into the air. So this is just, it's, it's really very steady and very cyclic. And we're seeing this continually as this ramp up. And um, at the moment we're looking at 332 earthquakes in Hawaii right now. Yeah, which is a significant amount because at one point, remember, we dropped down into the 60s in a 24-hour period. Now, when we look at these, as we were looking at yesterday, 1.4 kilometers negative. So this is up at around 4,600 feet. And this one, 3.1 kilometers, again, negative. So this is up a little bit over 10,000 feet. And this one is uh, at negative 3 kilometers. This is, you know, just 